In the midst of heartache, one community is hoping to be a bright spot. The Bridge City community was hit hard. On Friday, Gina Norton was tragically killed. An Orange County Sheriff's investigators believe her husband shot and killed her at a home on Oak Vista Road before taking his own life. It's a case many are still in disbelief over. Dozens of family and friends came together to remember Gina and also show her support for her family. 12 News reporter Jordan James shares how the community is rallying together for Gina's children. Ever since news of Gina's death, the community has rallied around her family and even at a candlelight visual Sunday night. Lord, I just pray that you don't need to see their faces to understand their pain. Those that were directly impacted by this go through this time, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would draw close to each one of them. Amid the brokenness and disbelief after the death of Gina Norton, a community is banding together to be a ray of hope for her family. It's already raised another hundred even since then. Wow. That is crazy. Lindsay Belcher and Brittany Lytle started a GoFundMe to support Norton's family, who kids have attended their daycare for the last five years. Yes, they um they will need a lot for days to come. We know that. And so we just love the outpour of love that even the community has showed and what what has all brought us together, you know, just gives us hope and just shows us, you know, God is working through tragedies. In less than 24 hours, the GoFundMe surpassed $20,000 with donations coming from across the state, all in an effort to support three children who lost both of their parents in one day. It gives hope. Yes. For sure, restores humanity and just shows us no matter what, we're going to come together and we're going to work together to make it happen. After years of watching Norton come to the daycare, Lido says now, things are going to be different. Came in always with a story to tell, made us laugh. We just, she was really just a great person, great mom. We loved talking to her, so she was always fun. Even when the candles burn out, this community's light will continue to shine. Thank you for putting those people in the kids' lives. And again, Lord, we worship you because you are a good God, even when difficult times come. If you'd like to donate to that GoFundMe, we have a link posted to it on our website at 12newsnow.com. Reporting here in Bridge City, Jordan James, 12 News.